If you're thinking about joining eXp, or you just want to know more information about it, or you just want to simply see what all the buzz is about, if you watch this video start to finish, it can give you all of the answers that you're looking for, and it can completely change your life like it did for me. But you need to stay tuned, because what I'm going to do is not only am I going to talk about the eight things that surprised me after my first six months about being at eXp, I'm also going to talk about the four things that I absolutely hate about the model, and I'm going to explain what I mean in the thumbnail, because by now you've probably seen the thumbnail, read it, and wonder what the heck am I talking about. So I'm going to cut through all of the BS, tell you the honest truth about the model after six months of being here and going all in at eXp. What's up guys, it's Mike Sherrard. Thanks so much for tuning in as always. And I'm excited to talk to you about this video because there's a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of fragmented information out there. And there's a lot of people doing things and saying things that they shouldn't about eXp, leaving people to maybe have some dislike for the model. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna share an open, honest, very transparent review about this. So let's just get straight into the value because I know time's value and I don't want to waste a second of years. So the first thing that really surprised me is that despite a lot of people thinking that it's just some recruiting model, about 90% of the agents at eXp don't actually actively recruit. A lot of them are here for access to KV Core, which can save you upwards of $10,000 a year for the best website, lead gen and CRM software. A lot of them are here because of the stock opportunities. A lot are here because of a better split and cap. And a lot of here are just to capitalize on the opportunity of saving time with the cloud based brokerage but despite what a lot of people think which is that agents at exp just don't sell properties they're just here to recruit 90 percent of them don't actually do almost any recruiting so 10 percent of them are flooding the market with messages that i'll get into later because i really don't like it uh but despite what a lot of people think it surprised me that again about 90 percent don't actively recruit that leads us into number two which is that you don't actually have to recruit a single agent to actually benefit from the model at eXp, let me explain. There's a lot of the agents, those 90% that have created more wealth here, and many of them have even become seven figure agents solely from leveraging the stock opportunities. You do not have to recruit in order to benefit from this eXp model. And a lot of people think that you need to, you know, bring on agents to stay at the brokerage or that you have to in order to benefit from this incredible model. Couldn't be further from the truth. I know personally agents that have become worth multiple seven figures by being at eXp who haven't recruited any agents. They've solely been leveraging the opportunities for the ICOM program to get their cap back in stock and in turn leveraging the stock in order to become a wealthier agent with a better split and cap. So what I'm going to do right now is share my screen with you and actually walk you through what I mean to prove based on data how agents are actually becoming much wealthier here than they would have at any other brokerage. Okay, so this is going to prove to you that you do not have to recruit a single agent in order to make more money here at eXp. So what I want to do is talk to you about the ICOM program. As you may or may not know, we're on an 80-20 split, $16,000 cap. And if you do 20 transactions after capping, you get your entire $16,000 cap back in company stock, which is the first time a brokerage is actually reimbursing the agents for the split that they paid into the brokerage in its entirety in the form of ownership. So Let's look at what's happened here. I've actually waited to record this video specifically for a day where the stock started going down slightly because it's just been on this crazy uprise. So let me show you what this has done for agents across North America, US, Canada, Australia, UK, where they've been able to get their $16,000 cap back. So keep in mind, this is what you would be making on top of what you already have for commission by doing the exact same effort that you would have done at any other brokerage. This is solely from helping people buy, sell, and invest in real estate. This is not bringing any other agent on. This is just doing what exactly what you're doing right now at your current brokerage. For any agent, you can see here that I've put the numbers over here, the stock price is just an average that have taken from each interval of year time frame. So these are the averages that have taken out. Again, I can't tell you the stock's gonna go up, down, dig, nor horizontal because we are SEC regulated, but let's just take these averages here. Any agent that got their $16,000 cap back for free in 2015 as an icon agent, that would now be worth $1.14 million. Any agent that got their cap back in 2016, approximately three point or $304,000. 2017, $260,000, $65,000, $91,000, $30,000. For a total over the last five years as an icon agent without attracting a single agent would have gotten 
almost $2 million more today than they would have had at any other brokerage just by doing exactly what they already would have been doing. Now, there is a three-year three, ve three year vesting period to the stock, so you would be able to pull out $1.7 million worth of that stock right now in 2020, which is absolutely incredible. Now, there is the optional program where you can actually take a portion, 5% of your commission, and invest it to get company stock at a 10% discount. So you're buying discounted stock. So the majority of these agents that were top producers were also taking 5% of their commission and buying company stock during this entire period as well as the fact that you get company stock when you close your first transaction, when you cap, and when you bring an agent into the company and they close their first deal. So a lot of the agents that were icon agents from 2015 to 2020 now have well over two to three million dollars in company stock above and beyond what they would have had at any other brokerage. So I just wanted to dispel the myth here that people think that you have to bring agents on in order to leverage the power of this incredible company because as you can see here, there's multiple agents that have become you know, seven and multiple seven figure agents solely from looking at the fact that you get ownership in an exponentially growing company. And this is just the beginning, knowing where the company is going and seeing some of the private things behind the scenes of what they're acquiring, what their plans are for growth. So let's head back on into it and talk about a couple other things that really surprised me. Uh, but this is one of the biggest ones that a lot of people just simply don't understand. Okay, coming back, number three that I want to talk about is that the cloud based brokerage is actually the most powerful thing I've ever seen in the real estate industry. So I'll be the first to tell you that when I first saw the cloud based brokerage, I thought it was the stupidest, most ridiculous thing that I've ever seen. It looked like some Sims avatar world. And I didn't believe in it until I truly understood the power of it. So let me break this down for you. If you look at the model, the cloud-based brokerage not only offers immediate support, which I'll get into, but the fact that there's 600, over 600 paid EXP employees in the cloud. And because we're in Australia, you can get support in the cloud around the clock, even at 1 a.m. if you need to get tech support. And the way that the brokerage is set up with the cloud-based brokerage is that it's a massive time-saving opportunity, which allows you to reinvest that time back into making more money. So let me give you a prime example. Let's say that I've got a technology problem with my website, for example. Previously, I'd have to call overseas, wait on hold, hope somebody answers me, and probably spend an hour to maybe not even get the answer resolved. At eXp, I can pop into the cloud-based brokerage and get immediate support from the tech outpost who will instantly help me with the platforms that we use at eXp. Now, the incredible thing is, think about this, for example, 600 paid employees in the cloud helping to run your business for $85 a month if you're in the States or $139 if you're in Canada. That's like you, let's say you're at Remax, for example. That's like your Remax local office having 600 people in it actively working around the clock to help run your business for a fraction of the fees that you'll pay at that brokerage that you're currently paying. It's absolutely incredible what it does, and it blows my mind that a lot of people just simply don't understand the capacity of it because it's a multi-million dollar per year employee force that you get to leverage for less than 100 bucks a month if you're in the States and just over if you're here in Canada. Number four, the brand recognition is irrelevant, and this is gonna rub a lot of people the wrong way, but let me break this down because if you don't understand this, you will struggle as a real estate agent. What I mean by that is a lot of people come to me and say, well, Mike, you know, EXP is isn't that well known in my city or it doesn't have the same brag recognition as Sotheby's or Compass. Let me explain the real truth for you. I was previously with Remax as a brand new agent, which had the most market share of any brokerage in my city. I was at the number one Remax office that had all of the powerhouse players in there. I left after four months, went to a boutique brokerage. I was the 24th agent there. Nobody knew the brokerage and I tripled my transactions in the first two months. Your deals are not coming to you because of your brokerage. Your deals are coming to you because of you. And if you as an agent are relying on your brokerage name to earn the trust of a potential client, you've got a big problem on your hands. 
people do not work with Remax, people do not work with Sotheby's, people do not work with EXP, people work with you and you need to be able to convey the value. So what I've done, similar to when I was with Redline as a 24th agent, is I leverage the opportunity of people saying, I've never heard of Redline before. I was able to explain and communicate the value that Redline offered over any other brokerage in my city. When people say, what's EXP? I've never heard of it before. It gives me the opportunity, it's not a problem, to then communicate how incredible the brokerage is and what it's gonna do to help people's homes get sold for more money in less time. So it's an opportunity and if you position yourself properly and as an agent if you properly understand how to communicate your value it doesn't matter which brokerage you're with the brand recognition is irrelevant your personal brand is actually what matters number five the support is immediate and again this is a common surprise that I get from a lot of people that say you know Mike it's a tech-based brokerage it's in the cloud how am I gonna get support from a broker here's what you need to understand Number one, at traditional brokerages, a broker wears every hat. So the broker's doing new agent onboarding, new agent training, brokerage training, marketing, compliance, risk, transactions. They're doing everything for the brokerage because they have to, they're the broker they wear every hat. Because of the cloud-based system at eXp, because there's different divisions for every single component of a real estate business, when a new agent comes on board, the onboarding team works with them. When payment processing comes into play, there's a team for that, accounting, team for that, training, team for that, marketing, team for that. So that way, when an agent needs broker support at eXp, they get immediate broker support because the brokers are solely there to help them with broker-related questions so that you're never gonna talk to or reach out to a broker at eXp and say, you know, hey, Mr. Broker in Chicago, uh, can you help me with this? And they're gonna come back and say, oh, no, sorry, John, you know, I'm busy with this new agent uh, bringing them into the group. It's never gonna happen because they're solely there to help you build your business from a broker transactional perspective. So that blew my mind and I was so surprised that I've now reached out to brokers from almost every 50 states and the longest it's taken me to get a response even from all of the brokers, not even in my country, was 37 minutes and that absolutely shocked me. Number six, the opportunity is much greater than you realize. So this is an opportunity to get in at the bottom floor of a tech-based brokerage that's exponentially growing and it's going global and it's early on. So right now we're at about 37,000 agents that are projecting 100,000 by the end of next year, 450,000 in the next five years and potentially a million in the long run. So let's paint this picture for a second. Let's say that you got into another tech-based opportunity like Tesla when it was early on. If you invested in that, you would be doing quite well for yourself. Same with Amazon. This is a really incredible opportunity and every entrepreneur dreams of the day that they can get into something at the bottom floor as it's exponentially growing. Same with getting in early on TikTok or Instagram or YouTube. Everybody thrives when they've been there during the early days. The same opportunity is here. And as they're going into five new countries by the end of 2020, 30 potentially by the end of the next three years, the wealth of opportunity is mind blowing. And if you're diligent enough to remove ego and emotion, to have an open conversation about this model, it can literally change your life. Number seven, the training is far superior to any other brokerage I've ever seen. So a lot of people wonder what's the training gonna be like? Is it gonna be relevant? Here's what you need to understand again. The problem with the training is usually it's done by one agent or the broker who may or may not sell real estate anymore. One person from one brokerage, from one city, from one province or state, from one country. The difference with EXP is that the training is done by the icon agents, agents who have capped plus 20 transactions in today's market who are currently holding icon status, the top agents across all 37,000, across the entire continent. So you're getting the best training from the top agents in today's market with eight hours of training a day in the cloud from anything from luxury real estate to lead generation, buyers, sellers, investors, social media, video marketing, any Anything you could dream of is in there taught by the top agents in today's market. So when a new agent comes into eXp, you're gonna get not only the best training from the top agents, but there's endless amounts of it every single day. So the training is amazing. And that's another thing that really took me by surprise. Now, number eight, this is a really interesting one. It really matters who you work with. And again, this is gonna come as a bit of a surprise because a lot of people just think, hey, you plug into eXp, doesn't matter who you join, join somebody in your local market, and it's always gonna be the same. But because eXp has become 
such an exponentially growing company and because there's so many different groups out there, it really does matter who you work with and who provides you the most value, which is why we've been able to grow so quickly because we give all of our social media training for free to every agent that partners with us. We do have four mastermind calls every single week. We do help you grow your organization. We do give you custom listing presentations and video marketing assets and marketing plans and branding plans and everything you could ever dream of versus some other groups that simply don't support you. And that's what I'm going to get into as I go into the things that I dislike, but it really matters who you partner with. So you want to make sure whether it be my group or whether it be another group that you partner with the group that's going to be the best fit for you. It's going to give you the most value and it's going to make you feel like it's going to give you the best opportunity to build the real estate business of your dream. So now is the part you've probably been waiting for is to get into the four things that I dislike and actually talk to you about what the thumbnail means about six months in H-E-L. So dot, dot, dot. So let's get into the things that I dislike. Number one is most people are missing out on the biggest opportunity of their lives in the real estate career because of misinformation and fragmented information. Listen, I found out about eXp in mid-2017 and I put it off. I disregarded every single message about it. I actually publicly talked about my dislike for the model because people were sharing the wrong information about me, sending a templated video presentation to me saying, Mike, watch this, then let me know when you wanna join my team. Nobody sat me down to say, hey, Mike, where do you want to go in five years? Oh, by the way, here's how this model will help you get there quicker. And here's how you can do exactly what you want. If you never want to attract an agent in your life, here's how this model will still help you make more money. Oh, you actually like connecting with other agents. Here's how you can leverage that to build a bigger business. So the fact that so many people are turning a blind eye to this model because of misinformation and fragmented information, they are missing a very substantial opportunity. And I did the calculations of how much wealthier I would be if I didn't attract a single agent, but I joined back in mid 2017, I would be seven figures wealthier today. And I won't tell you an exact number to make an income claim, but what I can tell you is I would be over seven figures wealthier today if I had to join back in 2017 without attracting a single agent to my business. So I really feel bad for a lot of the agents that, that were reached out to in an improper way that were sent a video presentation by somebody that doesn't properly understand the model themselves because you're truly missing out on something that could have changed your life and still can change your life if you take an open mind look at it. That leads into number two, the people that are actively recruiting that 10% in my mind, for the most part, the majority of them aren't doing it in the right way from sending automated LinkedIn messages. I've had people that are on YouTube that are friends of mine that have big YouTube channels that know I'm with eXp spam me with LinkedIn messages about joining their team at eXp. They know I'm with eXp. They talk to me frequently. And it's a shame that a lot of people are mass emailing, mass calling, mass DMing, mass, you know, LinkedIn messaging people to join their group, even though they're already at the brokerage or just the fact that they're doing that in general, even if they weren't at the brokerage already is really a shame because it's not personal. This is a big decision for a lot of people. And that's why whenever I talk to agents, I ask them, what do they care about? If you don't care about recruiting, I won't talk about that. I won't help you do that. I'll help you close more transactions. I'll help you get into luxury. I'll help you use social media. I'll help you with whatever you want to do. I will help you with that. It's not about doing it the way that I want to do it or the way that somebody else wants to do it. It's about leveraging this model the way you want to do it. So I really don't like the fact that agents are still doing it in a templated mass spamming solicitational way. And it drives me absolutely crazy. Number three, their branding could be better. And I'll be the first to admit this because personal branding and branding in general is a big passion of mine and that's how I built my business. The branding at eXp really isn't that great and I will be honest about that, but we have found a solution for that. So because I do own a 40 person marketing and branding agency, what we've done for a lot of the agents that have partnered with me is just give them big full brand overhauls. And what that's done is allowed us to shy away from the traditional old school branding of eXp and make them look a cut above. And a lot of people are saying that the branding that we've done for the agents in our group look far superior to Compass, to Sotheby's, to any of the luxury brands, even though it's still with eXp, there's a lot of creative ways you can actually leverage strong brands branding in order to rework things in order to brand agents to make them look like they are a luxury agent or like they do stand out from the rest of the other eXp agents in their market. So even though I do think that eXp's branding needs not just some work, a lot of work, 
I will tell you that there are ways to get around it and there are ways to make things look a cut above the rest. If you go through the exercise of overhauling your branding and not just using the templated stuff that they have in their market center. Now, number four is what a lot of people are saying, especially some people that I've found on YouTube, unfortunately, that have, you know, bigger channels than I do and they're attracting agents, which is great. Really happy for them that they are, but they're saying things that they should not be saying. And to be completely honest, a lot of things that they're saying to people, if was shared with compliance, they would get in a lot of trouble. So it was brought to my attention the other day that there's actually an agent that a lot of people know on YouTube was talking about how, you know, he's already making 20,000 a month from rev share and that in the next five years, he's going to be making a million a month from revenue share. Well, so I know that's a blatant lie because not only did I start after this agent that does have a much bigger channel than I do, but my team has grown far quicker than his has. And I know that I'm not making that much per month from revenue share. So there's no way it's possible for him to be making that month on revenue share, but he's sharing that with agents to try and entice them. There's no way he's going to be making a million dollars a month in revenue share in the next five years, because I know some of the biggest leaders in the company, even some of the early adopters and founders of the company that aren't making that themselves. So the fact that agents are making statements and claims solely to entice people to join the brokerage and not just being open and honest and transparent about the real facts, even if it's less than what they want people to believe, it really bothers me because now you've got agents that are joining a brokerage thinking they're going to achieve the same, but it's the same as something that doesn't exist and is falsified. So it really bothers me the fact that people that should be influential, positive leaders that are coming from YouTube, attracting agents that they could be bringing into this incredible brokerage and making a positive difference and exceeding expectations by sharing the truth and maybe exceeding that, they're getting false hopes and not achieving it and then wondering why things are happening. And again, similar to piggyback on that is that agents are coming in and promising things just to get agents on their team, which I really don't like because again, you want to make sure that you're joining a group that is going to fulfill what they promise you and if they tell you they're going to give you X you want to make sure that you get X if they tell you're going to give you X Y and Z you want to make sure that you get everything that they say they're going to give you from day one which is why whenever we do the presentations for agents we pull up our screen and show them everything we give to them on day one same as every other agent that's partnered with us because we built out systems and processes that are scalable so that no matter how big our group grows every single agent will still get the same level of support, the same level of training and everything else. And there's a lot of agents that haven't gone through the exercise of actually building systems and processes around what they can provide in terms of a value add. So that way, what happens is that the first 20 agents that join them, they can give, you know, amazing things to, but when they get to 100, that value proposition starts to dwindle because it's not scalable. And therefore, the 100th agent that joins doesn't get what the 20th agent joined for, which is why they came to the brokerage. So a bit of a nuance there that I really hope gets sorted out. Now, let me finally explain the thumbnail. Six months in H-E-L. I didn't say H-E-L-L -L to be hell. It's actually six months of helping agents change their lives. And that's one of the biggest things that I love about this brokerage is that it has been six months of absolutely changing agents' lives, giving them better training, giving them better support, helping them feel like they're a part of a movement and helping them add additional income streams that are better helping their families live during this time of uncertainty with this pandemic that we're facing right now. So six months of helping agents has been absolutely incredible. There's things that surprise me in the most positive ways. There's things that I don't like about the brokerage. Nothing's perfect, but right now, this, in my opinion, is the best brokerage to be at for any agent, regardless of where you are. And I hope that some of you reach out to me to talk more one-on-one -on -one about this because it truly can change your life. So if you have any other questions, just drop a comment below or respond to 100% of you. Otherwise, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one with me, just click the link in the description. We can set up that call to talk about how we can help your business align with this model and tailor it specifically to what you care about. So thanks so much for tuning in. As always, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you next time.